so thank you very much for having us. First of all, wanted to thank you. Uh, I wanted to start with a question about the um, visit of a German delegation that happened last year. Uh, a lot of business representatives visited Azerbaijan. Could you speak about this um, visit and also the outcomes of it? Yes, it was a delegation on renewable energy. We have a program line from the Federal Ministry of uh, Economy and Climate Action and uh, they support business delegations, promising topics like, for example, renewable energy in Azerbaijan. Everybody knows that the potential is very high and we uh, also met high interest among the German business community. So we had a program of meeting several institutions, of course, uh, the energy uh, agencies, the ministry and um, other uh, service providers, other energy and so forth. And um, we also organized a sustainability forum, as we called it, a yeah, sustainability um, uh, economic sustainability forum, and uh, had a B2B matching. So um, the outcomes, of course, are not uh, that concrete because it's still a new market in that field for the German companies. Um, we have. Uh, two, three projects uh, in site or let's say under uh, draft um, and um, first of all these delegations are good to get to know the market, to get to know the stakeholders, who is the talking partner, how do they, uh, how do they receive us, um, what is the messages we get what are the conditions, what is the legal environment, what are the prices we have to calculate with. So these are questions which are then uh, discussed and uh, of course um, also sometimes clarified um, in these delegations. Um, last time I spoke with the um, Deputy Minister of Energy of Azerbaijan, he told me that um, it is expected that soon renewable energy auctions will be held in Azerbaijan. Uh, do you think that German uh, companies uh, engaged in renewable energy would like to participate? Uh, do you consider this opp opportunity? Have you had any talks with the government on this? Yes, of course we are talking to the government um, uh, on this and we also uh, have uh, some, let's say, um, aspects which are which, which uh, have to be clarified. One aspect is, for example, the price mm -hmm. uh, landscape which we meet. You, there's a very low consumer price in Azerbaijan, which is not very attractive for private German investors because most of the investors are um, coming from the medium-sized companies and they cannot bear these um, prices, cannot calculate with these prices, but there are uh, other opportunities, individual tailoring, so to speak, for single companies um, and other projects. If they will be tendered, of course, this will meet the interest also of medium-sized German um, bidders and companies. I also wanted to speak about the overall activity of the AHK in Azerbaijan over the last year and also do you have any info on how uh, the trade turnover changed between uh, our two countries uh, in 2022 and also is there any progress in the first quarter of this year? So these were three questions in one. Yeah. The first question, <laughs> <laughs> 2022 is um, for us, so to speak, the, the way back to normal. It started already in late 21 that uh, as of September 21, many things went back to normal under certain conditions as we remember, like not more than 150 people in an event and always coming with mask, um, face mask and so on. But in 2022, everything went back to normal, um, despite the fact that we had this, uh, this um, uh, criminal war of Russia against Ukraine, which of course again shattered the perspectives and the environment. But for us as AHAKA in uh, Azerbaijan, um, we were able again to conduct our formats, our dialogue formats, impulse meetings with uh, the government representatives and with other people. 
our working groups came back to the conference room here and uh, of course also the meeting with delegations, B2B matchings, all that went back to normal. That was quite good for AHAKA. Economically for us it was not that splendid because the euro went down in 2022 and that affected us, concerned us very much of course as an institution. So, um, but apart from that, um, 2022, as you mentioned, the turnover was also successful in the bilateral relations. Also there we've seen uh, the way back to normal. It's not so overwhelmingly much what, what we trade with uh, Azerbaijan. So there's um, about a 500 million, correct, it is uh, 472 million uh, dollars um, exports from Germany to Azerbaijan and there's around 1.7 billion exports from Azerbaijan to Germany which is mostly of course oil and gas. Um, but that had um, in comparison to 21 of course already been a surplus and um, a positive development in trade turnover. 2023 uh, the picture is not yet clear, but as far as I've seen, it's also positive and rising figures. So maybe we will climb the 500 million this year and uh, go back to better figures in the future even. Uh, also, if speaking about the particular sectors, Germany has an extensive experience in the field of uh, construction, high technology and also uh, oil and gas sector. What is the particular interest of uh, German companies in Azerbaijan right now? And also considering the um, big restoration work that uh, Azerbaijan is carrying out in the liberated territories, uh, what are the plans in this regard? We mentioned the renewable energy sector. This is, of course, a very important issue for us. We see Azerbaijan is one of our major energy partners in conventional energy generation but I think Azerbaijan could also play a big role in the future with renewable energy um, um, generation and uh, hydrogen generation. So if you look at the uh, potential of uh, wind farming or of uh, sun uh, collectors, uh, solar energy, there is a high potential um, that Azerbaijan could become um, an exporter of hydrogen or of uh, electricity made from hydrogen. Um, second, um, we see of course um, mining as one of the future sectors which is of interest to German companies. Um, if not necessarily the resources themselves, which is also a topic, but uh, much more maybe equipment, technologies, methodology. We, um, our industrialization was based on mining, on coal mining, on steel production. So there is still a lot of, a lot of expertise and uh, uh, skilled machinery, so to speak, which is um, also implementable here in Azerbaijan in the, in the mining sector. Um, then we see infrastructure, local infrastructure, modernization of local infrastructure, water supply, wastewater management, um, uh, all these fields still are waiting for um, modernization. Uh, the electricity network, you know, the, um, uh, the, the um, consumption is rising, the population is growing, um, uh, old, f old um, f apartments and old districts are replaced by new housing. There is more electricity in there with the uh, uh, air conditioning and so forth. So the networks have to um, adopt to the higher consumption and to the higher perspectives of uh, consumption. In the new territories, um, it goes without explanation that there is uh, the same topics uh, but it's not modernization, it's reinstalling everything yeah. from the scratch. So infrastructure all over, road building. We have one member company, Azwirt, with, which is a German, Azerbaijani or Azerbaijani German, um, so to speak, cooperation. And they are quite active in road uh, construction and in airport construction. Um, yeah, so everything which is, which, is, um, which is necessary there could be provided also by German companies. Housing solutions, 
to build up a whole district, a whole um, rayon, so to speak, with uh, uh, um, also services, with kindergarten, with a market square, with a supermarket, with an administration building, with a school, with whatever industrial zone. This could be also um, done by German companies and they're interested in that. The question is always, is, are those projects tendered? How are they tendered? Um, um, and um, who gets the slot at the end? Uh, you mentioned the Asvert company that is engaged in road building in Karabakh, uh, as I understand. Yes, that's uh, quite a prominent example. Mm -hmm. And um, they basically work with der German technology, German machinery, and uh, they had built up already uh, some projects there. Um, are there any new projects that we will be hearing about soon that German companies will be implemented in Karabakh, not only in road construction? Um, I cannot say necessarily in Karabakh. I know that we, we uh, that there is a project in renewables in discussion. It depends on also the pricing, the price range and the whole calculation. Yeah, my next question is about the um, joint project with Azarchemia chemical plant in Sumgate. Uh, what is the current stage of the implementation of this project? Uh, when can we see this uh, plant operating? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Azarchemia project is, um, uh, is a very good example of German-Azerbaijani cooperation. It's a Uniper Sokar or Sokar Uniper joint venture. And the background of it is that they uh, installed a steam to power turbine from Siemens, uh, which serves um, or generates 60% energy efficiency in comparison mm -hmm. to what has been before. So it's a project on energy efficiency and quite successful, as I would say. And at the moment, it's in the test phase. So it's operative, it's installed, it's ready, but it's still in the test phase. And as um, far as I understood now, we will see the opening by end of August or start of September, mm, when we will uh, have also some sort of celebration and uh, uh, celebration-like opening. Uh, if this project turns out to be successful, do you consider that uh, probably some similar to that projects could be implemented in Azerbaijan? Of course. Um, with great pleasure, I would say. Uh, we regarded a pilot project, and there's still a lot of room for improvement, as we always say. And um, a pilot means uh, this is a good example, and we should see more of it, because energy efficiency is also in this country a topic. And uh, the biggest energy resource is to save energy, right? So in so far, I think uh, there's lots to be done, and there's a lot of perspective. If, um, if we find uh, adequate uh, partners for this. I wanted to speak about the um, cooperation between Sakar and Uniper. Uh, what are the latest updates on this? Uh, can we expect any new projects between them in the near future? Well, that's a very good question, and uh, that is what uh, you should better ask to Uniper or Sokar. Yeah. So I cannot speak on behalf of somebody. But, uh, of course, I think uh, all those corporations are mostly long-term corporations. If uh, a German company like Uniper is committed to a country, they mostly do it with a long-term perspective and also with their partners in the same, in the same direction. Um, so since we've seen a, good, uh, a very good reliability in this partnership, of course, we will see more of that. Uniper is um, one of our major gas providers and they trade gas and bring gas from Azerbaijan to Germany and this of course also goes in cooperation with Soka um, over the southern gas corridor and uh, the, the contract is for I think 30 years or something like that and um, uh, just from that point of view of course you can expect more and um, what we should consider also useful is to raise um, the figures of gas um, exported to Germany because that is definitely what will be needed in the future. I mean, we've seen Ursula von der Leyen from the European Commission 
uh, coming up last year with your president, His Excellency um, Ilham Aliyev, uh, on an energy strategy between European Union and Azerbaijan. And this um, has in mind to double the export from Azerbaijan to the European Union countries. And I think uh, that Germany will have a, a good share of this and that UNIPA will provide um, the, uh, the um, delivery of, of that sort of gas. Yeah, I also wanted to come back to, as you mentioned, Azerbaijan could pr potentially export hydrogen uh, to Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the role of Germany in this regard? How Germany can help Azerbaijan achieve in this? I think it's not so much about help, it's just uh, indeed about partnership um, with technology and uh, with uh, a long-term partnership. I think that would support any project uh, with, uh, with respect to green hydrogen. So what you need is uh, renewable energy, then you need uh, electrolyse and um, the technology uh, to transport it the capacities to transport it and I think in, in all these respects from energy generation over the modification or uh, change into uh, uh, hydrogen we could be useful also as a consumer of course definitely yeah um, Germany has uh, uh, a row of partnerships of hydrogen partnerships with different countries and this could be also a model for Azerbaijan in the future. Mm -hmm. Azerbaijan has become a popular tourist destination over the last couple of years and also we see growing number of uh, tourists from Germany coming to Azerbaijan. Uh, what are the prospects for cooperation between the two countries in this regard and how can AHK support the uh, growth of these numbers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course we also observe that there are more German tourists. I think it was last year 14,000, 15,000, something like that, which is a good figure, of course. Um, worldwide it's a low figure, but for Azerbaijan it means rising uh, development, and that is, also, uh, that is always good. Um, and um, of course um, what uh, we can do as IHK is a little bit limited, but what we can do maybe in, uh, as an idea in the future, and others are already active in that field, is to provide some support in the vocational education field, to educate service personnel. You need service personnel in the hotels, in um, guiding through the country, you know, for the uh, tourism agencies and so forth. So that could be a field where AHAKA might be helpful together with uh, vocational schools or with um, vocational education agency. We have a project already on vocational education um, which is focusing on IT and um, car repair mm. and mechanics, mechatronics, um, but for the hotel business that could be also a support. What are the particular areas in the non-oil sector of Azerbaijan that could be in, of interest of uh, Germany uh, and to which will potentially increase the investments of Germany in our country? Everything what has to do with machinery, technology and uh, solutions for productivity, that is something which German industries is good in, I would say. So for the sectors here it means we have uh, agriculture and we have food production um, uh, we have uh, also um, need for solutions in the environmental sector let's say oil mud separation you know um, in that field I think there could be much more seen than than we've seen so far um, in that uh, way I would say German uh, companies can deliver uh, mm -hmm. a lot and a lot good solutions and machinery, um, text, yeah, textile machinery, we've seen the latest and um, um, so I think um, there are many more options to regard this field. I have in mind also uh, diary uh, farms, we have a big project with five diary farms 
at the moment uh, where we um, are delivering German technology. So this is something where we can be helpful, I think, because uh, most, of, most of the machinery, most of the solutions um, are also regarded as quality solutions mm -hmm. and with a good um, after-sales service, which is also important in my regard because not every machine can run a hundred years without getting service. So you need a good service structure. And um, I think this is sometimes undervalued in the country, but um, um, in our regard it's really necessary and helpful for long-term and sustainable solutions. Since the last visit of uh, German business uh, representatives uh, engaged in renewable energy was successful, uh, do you think that uh, maybe another um, delegation could visit Azerbaijan in the near future and not only engage in renewables, probably in some other sectors? We have the next delegation already in uh, May. Yeah. We're on the Caspian Agro mm -hmm. um, exhibition. We've uh, a common German stand with uh, a row of German companies being present there. We will be having a delegation from Saxony by the end of uh, May. Um, also um, in several sectors but uh, also in oil and gas. So there is um, a mixed delegation mm -hmm. with uh, several offers and um, solutions in the package. We will be seeing in uh, Germany a conference on renewable energies and we will be seeing a conference on wastewater management. So there is some, some more to come and uh, also of course if we have uh, the opportunity to organize a project like this um, uh, or like these examples, yeah, we are always in. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you too.